Hi everyone and welcome to Wellham Lake in North Yorkshire. Now in this video I'd like to talk about fishing with bread. Now I'm sure all of you will have fished with bread at some point and more than likely that will have meant either fishing with bread crust on the surface or bread flake fished beneath a float or perhaps just free lines in the margins. But there are so many other ways in which bread can be presented and during my 24 hour session here I'd like to share with you some of my tips and alternative tactics for fishing with bread. So I've got the first rod here rigged up, all ready to go. And the first bread tactic I'd like to show you, it's also the simplest. What I have here in this tub is around half a loaf of liquidized bread. And what that is, it's bread that's been put in a food blender. So the end result are these, I wouldn't call them crumbs. They are bigger than bread crumbs. You can see there's some quite big bits in there, but it's basically bread that's been broken down. And how I like to fish this is inside a mesh PVA bag. So it's super simple, you tie it up just in the same way you would with any other mesh PVA bag. You have a small handful of the liquidized bread, squash it down a little bit with the plunger. And then we've got something probably well, smaller than a golf ball. I like to leave a, a long tag with my mesh bags so I can wrap that around the hook and trap the hair in place. And that's it. That's a really simple way of fishing with bread. Now, the rig I'm going to fish that in conjunction with, I have here. And that's just my kind of standard, straightforward pop-up rig that I use for all my low-lying pop-ups. Um, and what I've got here is a white Carp Freaks pop-up that I've trimmed down. So it's not round like a, like, a, like a boily would be, it's trimmed down quite roughly. And then I like to roughen it up even more with my fingernail to make it all sort of fluffy and bitty. So in some ways it kind of replicates a piece of bread that will be in, in the mesh PVA bag. So you can see there it's all coarse and fluffy. Then I just attach the mesh bag. How I like to do it is just nick the hook point through the top of the bag, wrap the bag around a couple of times to trap the hair in place and put the hook back through the tag. And there you go, you can see you've got the, the hook bait there, the kind of coarse fluffy hook bait and the mesh bag of the liquidized bread. So this is gonna be my opening gambit. That's all ready to go. So. Let's get it cast out, Let's see what we can do. Well, that was a bit of a rush, but I finally got both rods in position just as it's getting dark. All I'm doing at this stage is just fishing with the mesh PVA bags of the liquidized bread with the white whittled down Carp Freaks pop-ups. I'm not introducing any more bait right now. Um, I have seen fish in the area. I know there's fish there, so I don't feel like I need to introduce any more bait to try and attract the fish in, in the area. And with what I'm fishing with, that offers such a great visual appeal. I think that's enough attraction for any passing fish to, to drop down and investigate and hopefully pick up the hook bait. That's what I hope will happen, but we're just gonna have to wait and see what the night brings. If you're enjoying this video, please make sure to give it a like and be sure to stick around to the end because we'll be giving away a fantastic prize bundle to one lucky viewer. Well, the rods have been in the water about an hour and a half and we've had our first, our first take. I was pretty confident because there was a lot of fish in this area. And if I'm honest, I kind of expected a bite almost straight away. 
Okay, well it's... Not exactly what I was expecting, but it is a carp at least. It's the smallest carp I've ever caught here. But it's a carp. And it's on bread. And it's cold. So it's something. I'm going to take a positive from it. Okay, so not really what I was expecting, but it's a start. It's a February carp, albeit a small one. And that bite came around really quickly as well. I've only been fishing about an hour and a half, so it's an encouraging start. I'm going to slip him straight back anyway. There he goes. Right. Let's get straight back out there. I'm sure there's bigger fish than that about. It. Rod's back out. Something a bit bigger next time, please. Well, it's been about 20 minutes, half an hour, since I slipped that little fella back. I'm playing one which feels a little bit bigger. Mm, yeah. Let's put up a bit more of a tussle. A bit bigger. Oh yeah, he'll do. Look at that one. And up towards twenty pound, that. Nineteen eleven. Well, this has already been a really good session. We've only been fishing. A couple of hours, we've got two fish on the bank. Yeah, all right, one of them was about four pound, but this one more than makes up for it. Just under 20 pound this. And in the middle of February, I'd say that's a, a pretty good result. And it certainly goes some way to proving the effectiveness of fishing those mesh PVA bags of liquidized bread. Oop. Well, I was just about to recast that rod that did that 19 pounder. And before I could put on another mesh bag, the other rod rattled off. <laughs> Amazing fishing for the middle of February. And there he is. Pound, something like that. At this time of year though, it's nice just to get bites. So that's the third fish of the session, another common. Mirrors are something of a rarity in this lake, to be fair. This one's around 12 pound, something like that. And now I've got both rods out of the water. So um, I do have a feeling though that action won't continue past midnight because that's when I think I'll be reeling the rods in to get some sleep but uh, while bites are coming I really am enjoying it like I said before this is middle of February and just to get three bites as quick as I have yeah that's a uh, that's a great result I'm not wasting it I'm not wasting that brew <laughs> sorry that hot chocolate's too good to waste Rin again. It's been about 15 minutes <laughs> since I, uh, I re-chucked the little mesh bag, trimmed down white carp freaks pop up. I'm playing a, another fish. There we go, that's a nice one. Nice. Happy with that. 
18 on the dot. Okay. Well, I can't seem to put a foot wrong this session. Four bites, four fish landed. This one weighed 18 pound exactly. And so far I haven't introduced any bait at all and I don't see the need to. When I got here, I could see there's fish in the area. So I've just been casting out mesh bags of bread with the trimmed down white carp freaks pop-ups to where I'd seen the fish and it's not taking long to get bites at all. It's such a visual, a visual little parcel of food. Any fish in the vicinity, just dropping down and snaffling them. Well, good morning. Nothing happened during the night, which isn't a big surprise because I reeled the rods in at midnight to get some much needed kip. And here we are, it's a lovely winter's morning and I'm just rigging the rods up with another bread tactic that I'd like to show you. As you can see here, it really is very, very simple. It's just my standard go-to bottom bait blowback rig that I'd use for fishing with boilies, etc. But instead, this time the hook bait is a small ball of bread that I've just rolled around in my fingers to make a bit of a paste and then put inside some armor mesh. I'll explain how to do this uh, in a short while, but right now I'm gonna get this on the rods and hopefully we can pick up where we left off last night and put a few more fish on the bank. So I've just mentioned that I'm fishing with little balls of bread inside armor mesh and I'm going to tell you how and why I do that right now. So this is armor mesh and it looks very much like the PVA mesh that you buy except this mesh doesn't dissolve. Now the reason I'm using this is bread is a, a very soft bait and in, in lakes that have got lots of roach and rudd and things like that that will soon be whittled away the attentions of all those smaller species but by putting the bread inside the mesh it creates a protective barrier and makes it impervious to the attentions of other small fish so i'm going to show you now how i go about tying up a bread armor mesh hook bait now there are a couple of ways in which you can actually tie up your bait using the armor mesh um, it can be as simple as just tying it up in the same fashion you would a mesh pva bag but the way I like to do it is a little bit different and a little bit neater too. So first up, we start by tying a knot in the end of the mesh. Just trim off the tag and I just burn it down with a lighter again, just to neaten it up a bit. I then cut off about four inches of the mesh. And then I turn that inside out. So that the knot is on the inside. Then I get the bread. And I just sort of roll it into a, into a ball. I'm making this around, I reckon that's probably about 12, 13 mil. It will puff up and expand. So it'll probably expand to about sort of 16 mil in size. But yeah, that's, yeah, 13, 14 mil in size. Put that inside the mesh. And with that knot on the inside, I just push it into, into the soft bread. And then pull all the mesh down tight Give it a little twist and then get some 
bait floss. And then just wrap it a few times around. And then just tie it off with an overhand knot. Again, pulling it down really tight underneath the bait. Just add a few more knots to make sure it is secured in place. No fancy knots, just a couple of double overhand knots. I then trim off all the excess mesh and also the bait floss. So we've got a few little tag ends there, again with a lighter, just burn them all down. And there's our finished armour mesh bread hook bait. I wouldn't worry about any of the, the knots and things being exposed. When that bread goes in the water and it starts to puff up, it will come through the, the armour mesh. It won't dissolve completely, but it will sort of puff up and come through the armour mesh and it'll hide a lot of these little knots. Not that it will make any difference anyway, but just in terms of neatness, a lot of that will become invisible once it's been in the water. Now to attach that to our rig, we do it in just the same manner you would a boilie, for example. Just bait and needle through the mesh. Transfer it to our rig on the hair. and just secure in place with a boilie stop. There it is, it doesn't get any simpler than that. I have left a little bit of a longer gap than normal between the bait and the bottom of the hook. Um, that's just because it will expand slightly in the water. I don't want it so it's touching the bend of the hook. So yeah, just a left a probably, I don't know, it's probably about a 10 mil gap there. So yeah, a little bit longer than normal just to allow for any expansion. Now, while bread is a super effective bait, I do think there are situations when it really comes into its own. Take this session, for example. Here we are in the middle of February, and I do think that bread is an absolutely fantastic bait in the colder winter months. And I think for me personally, that stems back to my early match fishing days, when during the winter I'd be on the canal and as soon as that water started to get clear, bread or bread punch, fish with liquidized bread, would put fish in the net when all of the baits would fail or struggle. And I think the thing with it, here we go. I think the thing with bread, this one's pulling. really pulling back. So as I was saying, I do think the bread really does come into its own in the colder winter months. Um, not only does the bread provide masses of visual attraction, that bright white fluffy cloud on the lake bed, the bread itself has lots of ingredients that the cart wants to eat. Sugar, salt, yeast, all very attractive ingredients which when combined with the low food content and high visual attraction, it really does make it a superb winter bait. Well, that really didn't take long at all to put another fish on the bank after getting the rods out this morning. We've got a common again of around 14 pound, something like that. And this one fell to the armor mesh ball of bread. 
And now that I've caught on that tactic, I'd like to show you another way how I like to fish with bread. Now I'm going to show you one more way in which I like to fish with bread. And I first saw this in a, in a, in a magazine, it must be about 20 years ago. And I remember reading it and being really impressed with it. And I went out and used it on, on the very next session and uh, I caught really well and it stuck with me ever since. And what we need is some bread with the crusts removed. So I've just snipped the crusts off with a pair of scissors. And then I've cut the bread itself into kind of, in, well, into quarters. So the actual slice of bread's been cut into, into quarters. And the other thing we need is a micro cable tie, and all will become clear in just a moment. So, first thing we do with our quarter square of bread is roll that into kind of like a, a, little, a little mini cigar, like that. But mainly rolling it in the middle so that the end bits are kept quite fluffy. Next, we get our little micro cable tie and thread it through the, the hair on our rig. Then with our little bread cigar, lay that in the middle. And then with the cable tie, just fold it over and fasten it down. Don't pull it too tight, you're just securing that in place. Trim the cable tie, and then over the, the knot, if you like, of the tie, fold the bread over and just nip it together. You can then just sort of trim the bread to suit, get it to the size you want, and there is our bread hook bait. So it's time to get this rig on the rod and see if we can catch another carp on another bread tactic. It's competition time and you could win everything you need to fish the bread rigs I have used on this session. And all you have to do to stand a chance of winning that fantastic prize is simply like this video, subscribe to the Fox International YouTube channel and answer this very simple question. What was the name of the non-dissolving mesh I used to protect my bread hook bait? So put your answer in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below and we'll pick a winner very soon. Well, that's it for my 24 hour session here at Wellham. To catch five fish in the middle of February, I'm certainly going home happy with that. And yes, I know there's lots of other ways in which you can present bread, but the purpose of this video was to highlight some less familiar tactics to add to your angling armory and on its day bread really can be quite an unbeatable bait but that is it from me for now make sure to enter the competition by liking this video subscribing to the fox youtube channel and putting your correct answer in the comments section below until next time stay safe stay carpy and i'll catch you again later